Um, I will read because I have no idea what happened to it. In the meantime, I will read James Chadwick. Uh, James Chadwick has a question for you guys. Um, said, if you could pick a tag partner, this is for Josh, from the past, uh, either gone or still with us, who would it be? I just finished saying I would never tag with anybody but Ethan Page. Eddie <laughs> 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 Guerrero, like in nineteen ninety-seven, was around. Like, I might trade Ethan Page straight up for Eddie Guerrero there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. He's my favorite uh, ball team. So <laughs> awesome, awesome. awesome. Uh, let's see. Did we get Twan's question, Jeff? Uh, if yet. you're out there, Twan's, let us uh, send us that question over. Uh, meantime, I have one here too from Jason Peace. Uh, Jason Peace, we talk about horror movies a lot on our chat. I don't know why, but it goes with wrestling quite a bit. So Jason Peace has a question, uh, and this could be for both of you guys. Do you have a favorite horror film? Oh, here. This, <laughs> this will be really quick. She doesn't watch anything scary. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I'm terrified. I do not. <laughs> I do not have a favorite. I'm not like a big horror horror fan. Like I, I watch horror movies. I certainly did before I was in this relationship. Um, <laughs> uh, I I love Insidious or The Conjuring. Like either one of those oh. two that brought in that whole you know kind of franchise. Yeah, I, I love all those horror films. You it's just terrified, yo. You did. Yeah. Jeff, yeah, I, Jeff, see, like, Jeff's biggest fear is anything from those movies. He he's uh, done. He's just out. Yeah, man. It's like so well if, I, if I see anything like contorting backwards somewhere, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Like I, I can yeah. I can watch I can watch blood guts and gore. I can watch slasher films galore. Anything like that. I'm a big Friday the Thirteenth fan. Love all that stuff. I can watch any of that. But the minute I see Especially children or women contorting backwards, walking like I'm. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally done. <laughs> oh man! All right. Here's Twan's question, and thank you, uh, Twan's, for sending this over. What are you hoping to accomplish in 2021 that, due to the pandemic, didn't happen in 2020? Uh, so that's the first part. So I'll let you answer that one, and then there's a second part of that as well. First of all. Ms. Twans, I love you. Okay, we got to get out of He's such a big supporter. And our, like you guys, our thing on playback was talking about food a lot. So oh. Ms. Twans would send, would DM me recipes. Like, so amazing. I've yet to try them because I'm, truthfully, yeah, I'm um. terrified. <laughs> but I am going to try one of the recipes she sent me. Mm -hmm. Especially that lasagna. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. There's, there's <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, 2021 that I didn't do in 2020. I want to be one of the best wrestlers on planet Earth. So I think I was like 226th in the PWI this year. So I guess I got to be number one. So hopefully shows start up so I can start knocking down, you know, climbing the ladder. There you go, man. That's it. Hey, hashtag uh, Josh Alexander, baby. Out there in the out there in the Twitter land, go ahead, do it. Um, all right, second part. Do you have New Year's resolutions for yourself, or something you both want to achieve as a couple? Um, for me, business wise, I do have something that I'm I'm working on, but uh, this pandemic is. I don't know how long it's going to last, and it might hinder me from being able to slow things down. Yeah, slow things down. This yeah, if twenty twenty one is the same as twenty twenty, nobody's doing much. I mean mm -hmm. I think at least, right? Yeah. Because you can't nobody. do it now. So it's it's pretty strict up here. So yeah, especially here. We're on like complete lockdown until the end of January, I think. Yeah. And then maybe maybe longer. Yeah. We'll see. I don't do New Year's resolutions usually because I'm like, I, I like a starting point. So like this will just be like day one tomorrow. But uh, I, I've i made a thing to do more uh, like, uh, it's weird. I'll do more sit-ups and stuff at the gym because I always skip s stretching and core work. So I'm just going to do that every day. <laughs> so like for Josh, as far as like eating and stuff, he's 
pretty strict with himself. And sometimes I'll test him. Not that I would actually let him eat, but I'll test him and offer him, you know, like, Whatever I had, <laughs> I would never offer whatever my Kit Kat, <laughs> but you know, I would just see if he would. And he, no, he's like super good with with his eating, with his workouts. So really, gotta be a world champion. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, it's got to start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, Jeff, uh, who is our next question from, my friend? All right, so we've got Kim here. She says, Josh, would you like to face the karate man? Uh-oh. No. no <laughs> no. <laughs> karate man is serious. I mean. Oh, and I show I, mercy, so. <laughs> I don't know uh, if, he, if anyone, I mean. I don't know. He's mysterious. I'll say that. It's a sore spot, okay? I'm, I'm not a fan of karate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I think we kind of got that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of got that a little bit. Uh, it, it takes me back to those old Van Damme movies a little bit whenever I see that guy out there, <laughs> man. You know, I, I'm like, uh, okay. Um, all right, fair enough. Uh, Nails wants to know, can we ask Josh when we are starting the campaign for his title run? He pinned Tessa. She didn't lose the belt, and he hasn't had his title shot. I mean, people have been campaigning ever since I pinned her last March, kind of. I've been seeing it pop up nearly every week, so the campaign starts now, I guess. There you go. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> right now, we'll get it started. Right now. Don't wait. All right. DJ B. Tazzy, part of our group. Uh, Tazzy is part of our uh, little crew here with the Insiders, does our Impact Wrestling with us as well. Uh, question for both. Would you rather be heel or babyface? I'm a heel at heart. I started off as one, and oh no, I ended off as one. <laughs> That's babyface. Never mind. That that totally did not work. <laughs> I, I'd say heel just because I I like the responsibility of having to get the babyface over. There you go. There you go. Uh, I was talking about the the show last night with uh, the Brody Lee show. I was talking with Jeff about this and how, you know, for them to do that, for the heels to come out during that whole thing last night, man, that took some, that took some work. Then when you know you have to come out and you've got to be the bad guy during something like that, man, that's, that's got to be brutal. That really has to be tough to do. So kudos to, you know, to anyone that, that has to play that role, but you're right. I mean, you have to drag that out of somebody else and have people hating you. That's not an easy thing to do. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. Rusty Shackelford wants to know, 2020 will go down as a memorable year for all the wrong reasons. Tell us your most positive moment from this year. I mean, 2020 was professionally the most successful year I've ever had, regardless of uh, pandemic and lockdowns and all this other stuff. I think the North became nearly a household name in the wrestling community all over, whether you're an Impact fan or not this year. And uh to say we did that during this crazy time is like, that's something we're both really proud of. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jade, you can answer that one too. Um, honestly, as a mother's perspective, um, just seeing my two and a half Excel, um, he is like off to reading right now. And this is all led by him. And I just help, uh, just help give them the tools. Um, so it's been pretty amazing to see how yeah. far he's getting and how well he's understanding things. We, um, we just got lucky. He was one we, and a half years <laughs> old. He literally was addicted to numbers and the alphabet. And like that he's doing that all. Yeah. My other son was into like Jello and like others. <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know. We didn't do anything different. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, I love it. All right. Little T wants to know, Josh, would you ever want to compete for the X Division Championship? Uh, that's the qu first question, two part again. And then he has a question for Jade right after. So let you answer yeah, that. I would love to be the Samoa Joe, the modern day Samoa <laughs> Joe of the X Division and just run through that entire place because I'm just as fast as everybody in the X Division, but I'm much bigger and stronger. There you go. 
There you go. That's awesome. And uh, and Jade, uh, who is your dream opponent you would like to get in the ring with? Uh, there's a lot, but I think my number one would be Gail Kim. Oh, nice. But awesome. he's retired. <laughs> <laughs> but she's so amazing. Again, never say never. You never That's know right. if they'll stay That's retired. Right. So, yeah, you, you never know. That's awesome. Craig says, so how did you two meet? And how did the first date go? Oh, Craig's oh. getting a little personal here. Yeah. Look at that. Or do you want me to answer? <laughs> <laughs> how? No, you pick a part. You pick the how did you meet or how did the first date go? Which one do you want me to answer? I'm terrified for you to answer either, either well, yeah, of them. I, I want to know which one. <laughs> Uh, huh. Um, okay. How, how, okay. I'll do the meet okay. and you be, sure. this is a, the, there might be kids watching, so <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, how did we meet? Uh, the very first time, should we say it? No, I, I think you, they mean like, when did you like, okay. So how did, how did, oh, sure. then... you lie. <laughs> Okay. Um, how did we meet? I was trying to um, win something from the Raptors Twitter. They were having like this free or giving giving away, they were giving away a Blackberry, which I love Blackberries. Oh my goodness, okay. Blackberry, yes. Blackberry person. <laughs> so they were giving away a Blackberry and I was like, oh, you know, can somebody help me? Um, I just tweeted out, can somebody help me with like a witty, witty tweet? And then this guy DM'd me and he helped me. I didn't and win. The guy. You freaking liar. <laughs> 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 it's not story, You're too. a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. I told him, I told him if I win, I'll, uh, I'll gift you something from Roots of Fight. Right. That was do you remember that? No, I don't. Oh, you, just, you don't remember anything. No, I don't. Okay, so that's how we started talking. And then, well, after that, we didn't talk for like a couple weeks. And then the Raptors had another <laughs> for another Blackberry. I was like, come on, I really need a new phone. I need, I need to upgrade from my old Blackberry. And so I think I DM'd you that time. Yeah, for help. And then like it was still nothing back then, but then we just like slowly started DMing back and forth, like slowly. Okay, your turn. <laughs> I went woke at 4 a.m. and I didn't sleep. I just, it was a good day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. That's First great. Day, how about I just answer that oh, you, real you quick? Heard muscles or something in, that came in a shell that was gross. And you went. <laughs> I I ate <laughs> 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 muscles. Muscles, yes. Okay, our first date was actually on St. Patrick's Day. So of course we went out to like a, um, a, pub. a pub so that we can have. A, do we even have a beer? Yeah, of course we had a beer. Who this? A stupid question. But I had muscles. Okay, I'm sorry, but muscles as appetizers are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that he's not into seafood before. So I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah. I haven't had muscles in a while. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Josh, I'm, Josh, I'm here for you, man. I detest anything that looks like any that's been on the bottom of an ocean. And I'm like, no, oh. absolutely not. And my wife loves it. My wife yeah. loves all that stuff, like calamari. That, that, and I'm like, no, mm -mm. I'm seeing that I stuff. I'm like, no, absolutely not. I love all. I have that big enough steak. Like, uh, <laughs> yep, yep. Mm -hmm. There you go, steak and yeah. potatoes, baby. <laughs> Whatever, guys. That's awesome. I'm I'm with you, Jade. I love. Oh, thank all thank you. People, all <laughs> people, so I'm, I'm I'm with you. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. D Cohen twenty two seven three three says, Josh, what do you think of the way Impact is being portrayed in the current storyline with Don Callis and Kenny Omega? I mean, it's beneficial to both companies. I think. I think it's really beneficial for Impact because it gets those casual viewers that might have left to go see AEW that can come back and see how awesome we are now. Uh, yeah. I think Tony Schiavone has really been dragging the name through the dirt with these paid advertisements. But <laughs> oh, yeah. Other than that, I can't say there's a bad thing about it. 
<laughs> the advertisements again they're a throwback too when you see those and you like to see the words flashing up on the bottom of the screen that's yeah, hilarious yeah. I love it. uh nails again says uh would josh like to take the belt from swan or would he prefer someone else to have it first hmm. i mean swan is very beautiful I have no preference. No preference. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there you go. There you go. Um what else do we have here, Jeff? Let's see. Uh Craig just asked a uh, question here. Okay. Uh, does Josh have any funny story he can share with us about Brody Lee? Hmm. Uh, I mean, okay. I There's one uh, in like 2006, I was really new. And I went to like a small Canadian show, which was right across the border from Rochester. So Brody was coming up for these shows as well. And this is when I met him and his wife. His wife was a referee at the time and this is like 2006 like i said and i don't know why but somebody told me they would buy me dinner i was very poor and like 18. uh they would buy me dinner if i wore my my all my ring gear to the post-show restaurant and so like i went into this, this I, I it was either I eat and i wear spandex or i don't eat and i wear my jeans so i wore my singlet which had tassels Attached all over the place. It was a very different time. It was a very different Josh. Into this place. And I remember I sat down at a booth with this guy, and he was gonna, and like nobody was sitting with us. Nobody was sitting with us. And then Brody and his wife came up and sat with us. And he like he just like stared at me for like five minutes and like said nothing. And I was just like really intimidated because he's six foot seven. Uh, yeah. And finally, he just like looks at me, and goes, "Why are you doing this?" And I, I was just like, oh, "It's either this or I don't eat." And he goes. All right, man, I respect that, you know. <laughs> and then they he proceeded to make fun of me for the rest of the night and like point out things to the, the waitress that kept coming over to get like drink refills. But oh, yeah. Man. That's like my first memory of Brody. Like I, I worked with him that night in a match. And uh after that, like he just he was always there. He was just always a guy that had my back, even though we didn't talk. We wouldn't talk between shows, you know what I mean? He was just like everybody that's saying this stuff, like I haven't talked to Brody since I haven't talked to him in person since 2012. I haven't had any contact with him in like three years just because I was like, I'm going to see him soon. You know, he just, AEW, I might see him, you know? And like, it, it feels like I was with him yesterday when I see these videos and hear these stories about him. You know what I mean? Like he just, he touched everybody. It's great to hear everything that was told you you uh, you know there's a person you have you didn't hear a single bad word about from uh, nearly anyone and the fact that it got so i was talking to jeff about this today too the fact that it got like so many people together and it didn't matter what company they were from where they were from what you know but all of the athletes and the superstars that talked about him none of them had a bad word to say and they all came out and said that they remember him most for being a family man uh, which is unbelievable. Um, so uh, that's that's fantastic. Um, Nail says, I need to know how Josh manages to keep such a straight, scary face all the time, uh, especially when Ethan is being a goof. I'm guessing he's going to get scarier now. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to get much scarier. Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I got to hold the company and everybody in it accountable for what they did to my best friend and tag team partner, right? There you go. Uh, you can't try to understand and not get the consequences. And this is just my face. Uh, I, this is my happy face. My sad face. It's just stuck like this. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I'm letting off steam because he's stuck with me for like. You said stuck. I never days. said stuck. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and it all goes. It all goes back to the muscles. <laughs> Oh man, Rusty says. Oh, we got a we got a we got a hair question. Jeff could relate probably. To, uh, Josh, just curious as a fellow Baldy, how many times a week do you have to shave your head? I'm up to three. Oh god. Yeah, I would love to do it two three to three times. times a week. Yeah, I would love that, but I just do it once a week before I have to like look presentable. 
usually. <laughs> like before I leave for my shows, I'll shave my head. Three times a week. How, how do you, you know have I mean? time? Yeah. <laughs> do you use a pick? Like, what do you yeah, use? Yeah, probably. No, I slice up my head once a week with razors. And oh, I'm right there with you. I've yeah. got a. <laughs> Got a gash right now that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I cannot relate. Unfortunately, well, not yet. Anyway, but I, I'm getting there. My wife likes to remind me that I've got a nice bald spot right in the back of my head all the time. So it's uh, it's it's catching up. I think. Uh, Craig says, so would Jade ever consider managing Josh? Oh. I actually got to manage him once, and one time only. Um, sadly, and I loved it. I, I thought I wouldn't because I've always had that mentality of, I don't want to be involved with him in wrestling. And I don't know why, I don't know if I just, I just, I just didn't want to involve myself with him. And, uh, he was just like, just, just, just come out and manage me. So I was like, so he was offering us an extra payday. For yeah, you. so I was like, all right, fine. And when I walked out with him, and I love his music, I love his music in the indies. And I guess just coming out to that, I just felt. I don't know. He had a swagger. I, <laughs> I had a, a big of a, you know, swag coming out. No, yeah, it was a was lot like a, of fun. It was a sweet bucket list thing. Like, you didn't know if it was ever going to happen again or before, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so. I, I definitely would love to again. There you go. All right. Well, see, it, it's make, possible. Make a half an impact, please. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Chris in our chat's talking about blackberries. Oh, man. See, the blackberries still exist, apparently. Some good lord. I love good blackberries. Lord. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, Took in all the hate. I absorbed it and just spit it out. I love blackberries. Love I've been them. selling phones since I was working at Radio Shack years and years ago when they were bag phones and they'd go into people's cars. And I could never, I had a Blackberry once. I think they gave me one when I was a manager one time. And honest to God, it was, I hated it. Oh my God, I couldn't use the damn thing. I'm trying to push buttons. I'm like, what the, I, I couldn't. But yet I know people that absolutely love them. People that absolutely love them. Every single time they'd be, you know, they'd be up for a phone, up for a new phone. Oh, I got to get a BlackBerry. I got to get a BlackBerry. Who knows? Uh, again, these companies find a way to make their comebacks every now and then. So they might be back somewhere down the road, too, with some kind of bizarre. Everybody wants nostalgia. So and you're seeing now these phone companies making flip phones and stuff like that. And, you know, so who knows? It may make a comeback at some point. You may get your BlackBerry back again. Um, Sunny Wolf wants to know. Uh, favorite, uh, we asked if the favorite TV shows that you guys watch and who do you look up to? I guess who would like a role model be for each of you? Yellowstone's my favorite television show right now. Uh, if you've never heard of it, look it up. It's awesome. And who do I look up to? I honestly, like it was all the workhorses in the Indies in Ring of Honor and stuff when I started. The AJ Styles, the Low Keys, the Amazing Reds, all those guys that got me into wanting to pursue this as wrestling, like a profession rather than, you know, some unattainable thing I could dream about. So, like, I, I look up to all those guys. I want to be revered with those guys. It's awesome. Uh, for me, a TV show is I absolutely love The Office, uh, the American version. I could recite everything <laughs> I over and over and over and over and over again um person i looked up to uh i'm gonna say sherry martell i absolutely love her because i i love managing um it's my favorite in the world so that's awesome. Yeah, Sherry was fantastic. Uh, what a what a fantastic character uh, that she had, and yeah, that's that's awesome. What a great she answer. Good. She could like work with anybody, and she just kind of molded herself into their character. It's just yeah, she did. That's 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 amazing. Uh, all right, we will have one more question. We'll finish up with this one because we'll let these two guys go so they can go celebrate New Year's properly. Uh, so. Craig says again, how awkward was it meeting Ethan Page for the first time, Josh? I don't know if I'd say it was awkward. I was 18. He was 16. Uh, 
he just came into a wrestling school and thought he was the best person that walked in before he even ever started training. So oh, it, it, it definitely, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, the relationship didn't start off the best. It took us a few years to actually become friends, but uh, I wouldn't say it was awkward at all. He was just a dorky 16-year-old kid, and I was a dorky 18-year-old kid. There you go. There you go. Oh, man, awesome. Well, listen, guys.